Are you a network engineer? And do you want to move to cybersecurity, specifically blue team security? Well, you have all of the advantages in the world. Many people believe only Linux administrators and web application developers can easily move to cybersecurity. Uh-uh. Network engineers even have the equal advantages. And this is what this video is all about. We'll talk about devices, tools, solutions, what is Blue Team and their certification path. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I'm the internet. <laughs> Action Star! And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing! As a network engineer, you have to maintain network devices. These are switches and routers, and by default, they are not really secured. You, as a network engineer, you can enable various security features and protocols, and from there, you can start learning cybersecurity. In switches, you can learn and activate these security features, such as VPDU slash root guard to protect from SDP spoofing, port security for Mac spoofing and cam flooding. We also have DHCP snooping for DHCP spoofing and many more. For routers, you can also enable various security protection, such as ACL for filtering. We also have IP source guard for IP spoofing. We also have control plane policy to protect a device route processor. And you can also enable security for those running routing protocols, such as OSPF and BGP. For both routers and switches, you can also enable device access security. This is where you administer your network devices. You can activate security via management plane controls. You can also enable AAA features. AAA stands for authentication, authorization, and accounting. AAA features, these are Radius and TACX Plus. Here is the good part. At least in Cisco routers, the most advanced VPNs features and capabilities are running in routers. Yes, routers, not firewalls. Such as FlexVPN, DMVPN, VTIs, remote access, and many more. Understanding VPNs is another way to slowly shift from a network guy to a network security practitioner. Now, you should not limit your skills to only routers and switches. There are many more appliances that are more advanced, and this will help you understand more cybersecurity. Learning next generation firewall is probably another step to open doors to various security path. Here's how good a next generation firewall is. It can do network application protection. It can also do VPNs, IDS slash IPS, malware protection, and it can also detect which hosts are compromised. I would really recommend to start learning Cisco Firepower, Fortinet FortiGate, or Palo Alto Network's next generation firewalls. Okay, understanding IAM or Identity and Access Management Solution is also a good idea. This allows you to create policies that authorize which user, group of users, or devices to access specific networks. Another device that I personally recommend you to learn is Application Delivery Controller slash Application Load Balancer because it's a network, server, and is also considered a security appliance. Okay, amongst the solutions that I mentioned, the most important is Next Generation Firewall with NGIPS. If you know how to maintain IPS, you can easily move to Blue Team Security. So, what is Blue Team? Blue Team is a group of individuals who are responsible for defending against 
cybersecurity threats and attacks. And they work in collaboration with the Red Team, who plays the role of attackers to identify vulnerabilities in the organization's security system. The primary responsibility of the Blue Team is to maintain security of an organization's networks, system, and data by implementing security controls, monitoring security events, and responding to security incidents. They use range of techniques and tools to identify potential security threats and mitigate risk. And you, as a network engineer, you will need to learn how to analyze networks using TCP dump and or Wireshark. And this should not stop you from there. You should also know how to analyze networks using CM or Security Information and Event Manager such as Blanc, QRadar, Exabeam, and many more. Wireshark and CM goes well with Next Generation Firewall slash Next Generation IPS. And assuming you somehow manage to implement and maintain Next Generation Firewall and Next Generation IPS such as Cisco Firepower, Fortinet, FortiGate, and Palo Alto Networks, Wireshark and CM should not be new to you. The only difference is moving towards to analyzing security breach, attacks, abnormal traffic pattern, and many more. In a blue team environment, there are many different positions and roles. We have security analyst, which for me is very broad. We also have IR or incident responder. We also have digital forensic investigator, but the most interesting would be Threat Hunters. And uh, most Threat Hunters uses NDR or Network Detection and Response. What are these NDR? All right, so NDR is a cybersecurity solution designed to detect, investigate, and respond to security threats in real time across an organization's network. NDR solutions use advanced analytics and machine learning techniques to analyze network traffic and identify potential security threats such as malware, data exfiltration, unauthorized access, and other types of cyber attacks. And here are the most popular and widely implemented NDR solutions. We have Darktrace. Cisco have their own. Stealthwatch, um, but they rebranded it as Cisco Security Network Analytics. We also have Arista. They acquired Awake Security and they rebranded it as Arista NDR. We also have Vectra AI. And lastly, Fortinet. Fortinet have also their own. They call it Forti NDR. Assuming you are already a CCNA or Cisco Certified Network Associate, and let's say you have zero knowledge in security technologies. The best certification to take is CompTIA Security Plus. It's super basic and it introduces you to many different cybersecurity concepts, such as attacks and vulnerabilities, DDoS, social engineering, security operations and controls, VPNs, IEM, and many more. Cisco Cyber Ops Associate. Now, this is a track by Cisco that is focused more on security operations. So they talk about threat incident, cyber kill chain model, identifying threats, attack vectors, malicious activity. It's more of what to do when you are in SOC environment. They also talk about SOC playbook or security operation center playbook. And uh, I'm gonna highlight this. I'm a huge fan of hands-on lab exam, not just written or multiple choice. The next security certifications we have is, it's not yet popular, but it's slowly becoming more and more recognized. This certification is called Security Blue Team. Okay, we have a certified Security Blue Team Level 1. Um, this organization, I talked about this in detail in a different video, all right? Um, next is Next Generation Firewall Specific Certification for Associate Level. We have Fortinet NSE for Professional. 
Yeah, they call it professional, but really it's an associate level. Now, let's move to tier 2.7. We have CCNP or Cisco Certified Network Professional in Security. Makes the most sense uh, because this is a higher level of CCNA. We have S-Core or the core exams and you need to choose one more concentrations. Now, I have this existing video, just check the link below to know more about best CCNP exam combinations. Now, if you want to move away from Cisco specific solutions, that's okay. You can take Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Professional, where they talk about CM such as Blanc, threat modeling and threat hunting, and they also use Cisco Firepower packet captures and pickup analysis and many others. All right, next. This is a tie between Blue Team Level 2 Operations and OSDA. Stands for Offensive Security Defense Analysis. This is the same vendor that introduced OSCP. Now, this depends on which vendor you prefer. It's still up to you. This two certification is a little more advanced as it covers malware analysis, advanced CM, and threat hunting, and many more. Both are intense and so on lab exam. All right, next, Fortinet NSE level five analysis. Um, this certification requires you to pass two exams from five exam options, but I highly recommend you to take 40 STM and 40 Analyzer. All right, let's move to the expert level. This is when you are rooting for tech lead, tech architect or solutions architect or technical manager level role. All right, so the first one, CCIE stands for Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert in Security. This is still the best vendor and for blue team expert level certifications. If you want to focus on many different secure solutions, earn lots of money, I highly recommend you to take this certification. Now, Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Expert and a Certified Blue Team Level 3 Expert is still on the works. Not available yet. All right, last is the Expert Level of Fortinet, NSE Level 8. It's also lab-based exam and uh, I don't really recommend for you to take this as it includes almost all Fortinet appliances and solution. And most of these platforms, you might not need this as a cybersecurity blue team professional. So that is the strategy on how to switch from a network engineer to blue team cybersecurity professional. Well, probably some of you are asking, how about Splunk certifications, such as Splunk Enterprise Security Certified Administrator, Splunk Certified Cybersecurity Defense Analyst. Well, this is one of the certification program that has too many certifications, and most are not well recognized. I don't see the value, you know. Take note, in Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Professional and Blue Team Level 1 and 2 certifications, they also focus heavily on Splunk. So yeah, no need for Splunk certifications. Comment below if you have any questions. And don't forget to hit the like button.